Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the ring, the undisputed, the undefeated, the king of crypto, the heavyweight champion of the world, Bcash. Fuck you, man. Now nah, only joking. Bitcoin, of course, almost $10,000. Mike Novogratz think it's going to go to $40,000 by the end of next year. I wouldn't be surprised if he's right. Mike's got quite a lot of money in Bitcoin. He's got quite a lot of money in Ethereum as well. And those are probably the best two coins to have your money in if you're investing in cryptocurrencies, simply because they are the top two in the coin market cap charts for market capitalization and the most traded. And this is me. Bitcoin, please, I am trying to work. I'm trying to film videos. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to check you for the next 10 minutes. Leave me. In other news, <clears throat> Wabi's in the news. ICO started today. I'll do a ICO review on it later today. Already working on it for you guys. Um, Wabi is a ICO trying to raise funds for um, Walamai, which is a technology that... Um, securitizes uh, a baby food and other counterfeit products. So um, they basically have this label, as you can see, that's an RFID uh, checkable chip embedded inside it, that when it's uh, opened, it actually um, uh, breaks the seal. So um, in the case of stuff like baby food in China, there was a big scandal um, recently where they found that loads of baby food was being um, counterfeited and lots of babies were at risk. So companies come up with this idea to make sure that you can check whether the article you're buying is genuine. Looks like a very interesting project. They're trying to raise 11 and a half million via uh, ICO. Started this morning, looking very promising. And as I said, I'll do a review on it later. Red Pulse going to be listed on the TDAX on November 28th, that's today, and it's already on KuCoin, more exchanges to come no doubt for um, RPX tokens. Um, if you didn't know, RPX was a um, ICO that was launched on the NEO blockchain rather than the uh, Ethereum chain, so uh, still more to come from NEO and no doubt from Red Pulse in the future. And this is what I want for Christmas, find these lovely jumpers. Mum, if you're watching, please, I want the uh, Bitcoin sweater. Thanks. And uh, just a quick look at the markets before I, uh, I go and finish this Wabi video. Bitcoin almost at $10,000. Will I refresh? Will we get $10,000, guys? No, it's been hovering around. I think a lot of people have got sell orders uh, automatically set for just under $10,000 um, to take some profits. As we already knew it was going to go there, so, you know, why not? Um, Ethereum still hanging around at around 480 See what else is interesting. Ethereum Classic, absolutely smashing it at $30, $30 almost. That is fantastic. Um, that would have been a good coin to be in mining. Unfortunately, I was still mining Pearl at the moment, so I uh, took my eye off the ball. I was mining Classic for a while, but I offloaded it. Omisa Go starting to recover, coming back to almost the $10 mark. Lisk having a little pullback from um, earlier uh, results. See what the biggest uh, gainers on the top 100 look like. Walton Chain, back above $6. Um, again, Wabi might even be a competitor for Walton Chain in the near future. Walton use RFID chips to uh, um, categorize certain shipments. I don't know if they're involved in exactly the same as uh, Wabi anti-counterfeiting, but be interesting to see. Bytum smashing it. Metal doing rather well. Cryptonex, I don't know anything about that. My next coin is back into the top 100 with another 85% gain today. That's interesting. I don't know much about that. Might have to go and ha take a closer look at it. And Loopring heading up the rear at 16% at a 22.23 cent mark. So let's have a look at the gainers and the losers. Anything interesting? Bitcoal, never heard of it. Nothing uh, I've really heard of. Aeon coming off um, ICO quite recently. 
having a little gain there. Mona coin keeps getting pumped and dumped and going down Ethereum Classic, as we mentioned. Publica are doing well. It's come off ICO, had a real slump, and now it's starting to regain some traction. Um, I mentioned that the other day. It's an interesting coin. It's um, a decentralizing publisher, so it's uh, one to keep an eye on. Biggest losers. No surprise for some of those. B3 coin yet again in the biggest losers. Absolutely worth the square root of fuck all. And let's see. Bitboost. Um, Zios. I did a video previously on Zios. It's a community coin with master nodes. An interesting project, but doesn't seem to have realized its uh, financial potential. Um, so maybe a good time to pick some up if you're interested in uh, having a master node. Thousand coins for a master node. At 33 cents a pop, um, that could be the time to get in. And Aeron losing some, back down to 45 cents. Um, if you're looking to get involved with Aeron, now might be a time to pop into that. And we'll see what was recently added. What has come off exchanges recently? Time New Bank, not on my radar, any of these. Flixo I was looking at. I contemplated getting into the ICO, but didn't. It looks like it's... Uh, it's gaining some traction now, up to 15 cents, and um, decent decent volume going through it. Still a lot to go for that, up 15%, so one to keep an eye on, Flixo. Plexcoin there as well, recently come off ICO, not doing terribly well. Really, the only surprise there is Spank Chain, which is uh, down from its launch. Quant stamp as well, not really realizing its full potential. Back down to around 14 and a half cents. I'm still holding some quant stamp, so I hope it has a little bit of a revival. Okay, guys, so that's a quick roundup for this morning. I'll be back later on with the uh, ICO review, so stay tuned and thanks for tuning in.